or four models. This particular steam engine is one of our feature engines. It is a Baker. It's rated at 23 and 90 horsepower. 23 is the boiler rating, old rating, and 90 is the actual brake horsepower. This is owned by the Shiverdecker and Price families, Gary and Bob Shiverdecker and Sharon Price. Uh, let's see, we got Bob up there who's running the controls and Sharon, oh, she's driving. Oh, I'm scared. Well, you're over there, I'll be okay. I, she's gonna head this way. And Sharon Price is doing the driving up there. We got Chloe and Chloe and Kendra tossing out candy. All right, used to belong to Roscoe Shiverdecker. You got a whistle up there. Any more? What happened to the candy? I don't see any flying out there. Okay. All right. Oh, they. Oh, they ate it all. Oh. Okay. All right. Next steam engine. Give me a big hand. We appreciate it. Thanks. Next we have Mr. Kevin Holt. He has a 25 and 100 horsepower. Uh, steam engine, this is built in 1916, weighs about 13 tons. It is a counterflow. It has a regular cylinder and regular valve in it. And there were about 25 of these made. There's only about one, that, not about, that's the only one left right there. Another part of this show. Kevin's up there. He's been helping us all weekend. Do you have a whistle? <laughs> Any more? No, that's that Baker whistle. It's got a shrill edge. Thank you, Kevin. Give him a big hand. Next up, we have a Baker steam engine. I believe this is the counterflow. Stacy, right? He can, no, he can't hear me. Counterflow. Yes. Yeah. This is Jim Stacy's steam engine, 21 and 75. Uh, you know, he's from Wilmington, Ohio. This one was built in 1924, weighs 11 tons. Now, it's pulling the Baker Road Roller. I believe there's about 167 of these made. And that's Jack Stacy up there, I believe, doing the steering on that. All right, do you have a whistle on that engine? Appreciate both you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, there it is. The very first engine that Mr. Baker built. Abner David Baker. He used he liked to be called AD. 1898, he made this engine. It's rated 16 horsepower. He borrowed money to get it done. He sold it to a gentleman there in town, right down the road, and then was able to pay off the loan and start building engines full time. That gentleman up there with the hat on that's doing the work up there, his name is Louis Carson. He is the great grandson of Mr. Abner David Baker. And this engine, after uh, he made some money and he started getting some money in the organization, uh, Mr. Baker went back and bought the engine back. And it's been in the family ever since, used around the yard as a yard engine. Louis, you got a whistle. <laughs> Any more? That's it. Hey, give him a big hand, and we appreciate it. Thank you for coming down. Great grandson of Louis um, Abner Baker. All right, next up we have a Baker steam engine rated at 21 and 75 horsepower. Now, this was owned by a gentleman named Richard Bucky Buckingham. And <clears throat> Mr. Buckingham passed away this past winter, and it was inherited by his two grandsons, the one up there with a the straw hat on, that's Michael from, now I'm gonna get this right. I'm gonna get this right. No, I'm not. Potascula, Potascula, Ohio. And we got Kevin McFadden from Mansfield, Ohio. And uh, Kevin's taking it to a couple shows already. All right, gentlemen, again, it's rated 21 and 75 horsepower. Do you have a whistle up there? <laughs> Any more? That's it. Give them both a big hand. We appreciate it. This next steam engine is a baby. Not because it's small. It was finished June 1st of this year. Built by that gentleman up there, Mr. Jonas Stutzman, from Middlefield, Ohio. 
That particular engine is a 5.8 scale of a 2390, and believe me, it's one of the most accurate steam engines you will ever see in your life. Mr. Sutchman has had that engine at several shows, and uh, it sounds fantastic. Jonas, you got a whistle up there. Any more? That's it. Thank you. We appreciate it. Next up, we have a quarter scale. Yeah, I said it. A quarter scale of a Baker steam engine. This particular one is owned by Kerry Countryman of Germantown, Ohio. And that's his son, Kerry, there, I believe, doing the, doing the steer. I can't believe it's actually pulling you along. Uh, the uh, steam engine was built by Dad right there and finished a long time ago. We appreciate it. Carrie and Carrie, you got a whistle on there. There probably is not room for any more, is there? Is there? Uh oh, okay, all right. Hey, give him both a hand. We appreciate it. Thank you. He's got to hurry and get back to it. For, for him, it's about a 10-mile trip there. All right. Go ahead and stop it for a minute, Casey. All right. This particular steam engine, number one, it was on the front page of the paper just this week, and we, <laughs> and, and Casey liked that too. He and his two sons appreciate it. This is a Baker. This is a smaller Baker. This is rated 16 horsepower. That was built in, in 1905, and it's owned by Casey B. Secker, our can of Ohio, and family up there. If you look on the front, it's got a ham uh, headlight on it, which is a traction engine headlight. Got a side of water tank on this side, and uh, they they really, really spruced it up this year. It's looking great and wonderful, and we appreciate it. You got a whistle. Any more? All right. Is that your two sons back there? Behind? Just one of this. Okay, I'm not even going to go down that road. Now, the engine that they're pulling is the last Baker ever made. Serial number 17992. This particular engine is rated 21 horsepower, owned by the Kramer family. It was bought out of a sawmill up in Buskirk. It's the Buskirk Sawmill in Sandusky, Michigan, by Ivan and Lloyd Kramer. And it's been basically sitting around the Kramer farm for a long time, and they decided to get it all rebuilt and put back together, and frankly, they ran out of time. There's no piston in it and all that kind of stuff, but they brought it down so we could have it here, and again, and then they got it really spruced up. That's the last Baker ever made. So you got to see some very special Bakers, number one, and the last one, and the Baker Roller, and the 25. So we appreciate it. Thank you, Casey. Thanks for pulling it through. Give them all a big hand. We appreciate it. Thank you.